Okay, I'm gonna go over the spear gun setup uh, to mount a camera. Here's basically the hardware. Um, there isn't much to it. Uh, let's go over the hardware that you need to get. The key was an eye bolt, and that went through the hole on the spear gun. I'll show that in a minute. Rubber washers, a nylock, which is excellent, fender washer, carriage bolt, stainless steel only and a wing nut don't get the galvanized stuff okay so that's basically the stuff you can see where the eye bolt went through the hole in the back of the gun i used the rubber washers and the fender washers to secure it the nylock runs and tightens it up then the carriage bolt with the large fender washers and another nylock and i have the wing nut at the top okay the hole at the back of the gun is right there on your european guns i don't know i don't have a european gun um this is a beautiful gun uh daryl wong uh, mine isn't that hot uh, but it's still good okay so anyway the camera that i have is a uh, in tova it was really great bargain i bought it at long's for 200 dollars with case that was an amazing purchase and just forty dollars for a one gig uh, drive and that gives me like 62 minutes of video or 300 pictures okay it already comes with a mount you can see I'm I uh, screw the camera case on and then of course I'll use the wing nut to tighten it once I've gotten it now don't bottom it out right remember don't bottom it out or you'll you'll break off the mount um, they're tightening the wing nut and it's kind of difficult with one hand here to because I'm holding the camera to demonstrate okay anyway um, here's here's the camera I bought I'm really stoked about it I decided for the first camera go cheap because you never know what kind of mistakes you're gonna make and uh, they of course they'll be costly and so that's what I want to go over next underwater equipment that has to stay dry you've got to pay attention to the o-rings that's everything. Now, I don't take apart the camera case to deal with, oh, anyway, here I'm showing how the camera fits in. It's not mounted all the way through. Anyway, okay, here are the O-ring. That is your key. I, like I said, I don't take apart the camera case to check all the little, little parts, but I always wanna check the inner and outer O-ring. This case has two O-rings, which is excellent. Um, I've had, sand sort of at the margins when I've done video at, in surf at like Sandy's and when you open it up it's right there at the margin if you close it up again and don't pay attention to that one piece of sand in the wrong place uh, just invalidates the whole o-ring thing and you know there goes your camera okay the other thing is <clears throat> I found that through experience of filming in surf the camera goes through a lot of pressure changes and any humidity uh, that gets trapped in the case when you close the camera will produce a flash condensation on the lens. So I get this, uh, this silica little pack, uh, I have to make it myself. Uh, that's like a bounty towel or something like that. Um, just a, It just takes a tiny little bit, I actually have probably more than I need right there fold it up I'm gonna tape that shut okay there's the roll of tape that's all it is real simple stuff simple solutions there's my little package all taped up and for my particular setup it fits right up at the top out of the way of course uh, of other things like my on off button and shutter release and I'll tell you what, you close that up and you store that package inside the camera after you dive uh, because other, otherwise it'll just, it'll get all wet, you know, if you just leave it out in the open. Okay, anyway, it, uh, yeah, it goes in there and close it up. Uh, that's the part, the lens will fog up if you go through heavy surf. Okay, anyway, I also want to recommend Go to Leo Falasco's website. He's got all kinds of great stuff, uh, good lessons uh, that 
he does much better than I can do here. Okay, again, uh, oh, plan your dive and dive your plan. Be safe.